you guys, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about seeing things that we normally just kind of ignore. I'm Daniel Norton, photographer here in New York. I make videos like this about philosophy, about photography in general, and about technique. Um, so let's get started. I'm uh, hiking. Um, I know guys that watch these, I've been doing this every day. Um, I said I was going to do a live Twitch feed today and do some editing, but it is in the 70s and it is the nicest day that we've had so far this year. So I said I'm going out and walking around and hiking. I'm actually using my phone because I didn't bring all my camera stuff with me because I thought I'd go back and shoot a video later. But as I was standing here, a couple things happened. Um, there's this beautiful uh, river off to the side of me over there. And you can probably hear it, I guess, but you can probably also hear the truck. <laughs> this river is literally just sitting in this little kind of uh, valley, I guess, next to this highway that people drive every single day. And pretty much, I mean, I don't know how far away it is, maybe less than a quarter mile away. You've got people probably uh, driving in cars, uh, you know, every day going to work, doing what they're doing. Um, and literally right over here is this beautiful path that this river's going by. It's very peaceful when it's not Sunday and there's trucks beeping on the highway. <laughs> so I realized coming on a Sunday, especially on the first nice day, um, I'm going to encounter a lot more people. You know, normally I'm out here uh, during the week or something because it's pretty close to my house and uh, nobody's around, you know, because they're working, I guess. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see just the huge amount of people that are out here hiking and stuff. I'm, I'm curious if it's because they've just been so cooped up that they have no choice but to, to, but to do something, you know, they can't go to the mall or whatever, so they come here. So maybe that's a good thing, right? But I just thought to myself, like, how many things around you do you go past every single day that you don't even notice that are there that you're just not even paying attention to because you just don't notice them? I mean, it's just, maybe you don't even know they're there. I'm sure there's lots of people that take that road every single day that have no idea that there's a river right here. So, um, you know, that you can get this close to and really get, uh, you know, I mean, you could climb all the ways down. I'm not going to do that. Um, it's very wet because it's been raining a lot. So getting off the trail is actually not a smart idea, um, especially when I'm by myself. But um, yeah, I just thought that was super interesting. So um, look for those things, right? Look for the things that you don't normally see. And that's, I think, where we find uh, the interesting things in life. Um, if you know, everybody, uh, there's a classic example is that there's this spot in Brooklyn, <laughs> anybody around here probably knows it's in Dumbo, um, where like there was a few famous pictures shot where it's like cobblestone and the bridge is behind and blah, blah, blah. Everybody goes there and shoots. But you know, somebody had to be the first person to see, hey, this is a great spot. You know, be that person, find that great spot, go away from where things normally are, find something, something unusual and capture that. And I think that you'll have something that's very memorable and uh, will stand out from the rest. So. Yeah, that's my advice to you. I will, uh, I'll, as soon as we get another day that's not nice out, I will go and do the live uh, editing because I'm in no rush to do it, um, really, because the, the, the client was me, who was for the, you know, it's still life stuff I was shooting for videos for you guys. So I will do that eventually, but while there's nice days, I'm going to try to take advantage of going outside. I also have a bit of a treat um, coming up um, because I get this question all the time about using the Flashpoint, which is the Adorama branded stuff, and I always say I don't have it, blah, blah. So I thought during this period, uh, I'm home, you know, I reached out, I said, hey guys, you know, uh, can you send me something and I'll, and I'll shoot it because, I, I, you know, people want to see how it operates, whatever. So um, I have the Flashpoint 300, which is the new little baby uh, battery light coming. And when that arrives, uh, I'm going to go out and shoot a little bit with it and we'll, we'll kind of take a look at it and see what it looks pretty cool. I mean, I got it already. Um, they, didn't send, they didn't send the remote with it, so I have it, but I don't have any way to shoot it. So um, I don't think there was a sync port on it. It definitely didn't come with a sync cord and I have no sync cords at my house. So... Um, they're going to send me a remote. So later this week or early next week, um, hopefully later this week, uh, you'll see it. That'll probably go on Adorama's site, so I'll make sure I put a link to it. But um, yeah, so pretty cool. little uh, affordable, I guess. I didn't look at the price, but everybody asked me about it. So it's pretty affordable little uh, battery-powered flash. So we'll test that later in the week, play around with that. I also, you may have seen, if you follow me on other things, I got a couple other cool things. I'm kind of reaching out to people um, that have kind of gear that I've been wanting to mess with. And I'm like, hey, send it to me. So uh, we might see some gear stuff because uh, that's kind of fun to see, get us ramped up for what's going to happen because, you know, sooner or later we're going to be back out there and shooting again. So we got to kind of keep our skills up. So uh, that's what we're working on now. Um, some people have been uh, DMing me directly. By the way, I appreciate that you send me DMs. I really do enjoy it and I try to help out whoever I can. But if you send me tons and tons of DMs, ask me very specific questions about your gear, I just, I may not be able to answer you, especially right away. I get so many DMs in a day. You have to understand that like, I'm not ignoring you, but at the same time, if you want to know if this thing works with that thing, you might be better off just going to the manufacturer's website than asking me, you know, because I'm not sure. So if it's a deeper question, 
then I can make a video about it, that's cool, but if it's literally just a little tech question, uh, please take the time to look up the answer yourself, and if you can't find it, send it to me, I will get back to you eventually, but um, I just, I find myself answering like 50 of those questions a day, and it's it's a lot, you know, for me to deal with, so um, that's cool, anyways, but I do enjoy the, the interaction, I mean, otherwise I'd have nothing to do, right, uh, so moderation is good, right, uh, so go ahead and send those questions, I will, I'm going to hike back now to my house, and uh, publish this, and hopefully it'll be up uh, tonight, and uh, I'll see you soon.